New developments in the shooting death of a 16-year-old in Amelia last month. The teen's friend, a 17-year-old boy, was charged with voluntary manslaughter. Those charges now upgraded to murder. 8 News reporter Damon Reynolds live in the Digital Center for us tonight after speaking with authorities about this latest development. Damon, good evening. Well, Eric, I'm told by Amelia County Sheriff's there are multiple charges that the 17-year-old is facing. The most recent murder charge coming on August 1st, and I spoke with the Amelia Commonwealth's attorney, who tells me that a review of evidence is what led them to this decision. The charges should have been initially brought as a higher charge. Amelia Commonwealth's attorney Lee Harrison tells 8 News that after further investigation into the July 2nd deadly shooting of 16-year-old Lucas Hanna, it was clear to his office that this was murder, not manslaughter. He says it's why the charges against the 17-year-old suspect have now upgraded from voluntary manslaughter to felony murder. The teen also faces charges of brandishing a weapon, obstruction, and more. Harrison says as more evidence became clear, they wanted to move quickly. It was a quick decision because they wanted to make sure they got an arrest before anything else happened. We asked specifically what led to the upgraded charges, but authorities say they would not prefer to talk about specifics as it is an open investigation. We do know Amelia County Sheriff's deputies responded to the 4,000 block of Richmond Road on a night of July 2nd for a 16-year-old who had been injured from a reported self-inflicted gunshot wound to the right shoulder. Investigators later saying the teen did not shoot himself, charging his friend in the shooting. Lucas's mom never believed her son had shot himself, as she told us in this previous interview. A mother knows their child. I just trust that justice is going to be served and, you know, hopefully, He'll have time to, you know, realize what he did and feel remorse. Preliminary hearing in this case is Monday, and the Commonwealth's attorney tells me that he will request that the 17-year-old suspect in this case be tried as an adult. Now, that teen is in custody tonight. And, Devon, you had the rare opportunity to speak to that teen before he was in custody. Isn't that right? Lucas had shot himself on his front yard. Now, as we know, that turned out not to be the case, even adding that during that time, he would do an interview with me had I gotten permission from Lucas's mom. In the Digital Center, DeMond Reynolds, 8 News.